Hey guys, only two things in life are certain, that's death and taxes. But when you add TrueNAS into the mix, there are two other certainties. The first is that one of your discs will fail and you will need to replace it. And the second one is you will want to increase the size of one of your VDEVs. So how would you do either of those things? Let's take a look. On my TrueNAS dashboard here, we can see I've got a new pool. It's labeled test and it's got an available space of 1.75 terabytes. It's made of one data VDEV that's composed of three disks and they're all online and healthy. The three disks that I have in this VDEV are two three terabyte disks and one one terabyte disk. Now, unfortunately, TrueNAS can't make use of mixed size VDEVs. So all disks in the VDEV are treated as though they are the size of the smallest possible disk. In this case, the two three terabyte disks are being treated as though they are one terabyte. Unfortunately, that means that we're leaving a lot of space on the table here. There's essentially four terabytes in the VDEV that are not being used. So what we're going to do here is we're going to swap out the one terabyte disk when it fails to another three terabyte disk. And we'll see how the VDEV grows when that happens. How are we going to simulate a drive failure for the one terabyte disk? Well, that one terabyte disk is currently connected via this docking station. So simulating the failure is pretty much as simple as if we return to our TrueNAS dashboard, we'll see that actually the test pool still looks like it's online. Unfortunately, the dashboard is a static page. So if we just click very quickly into another option and then back to the dashboard, it will load again and we'll see our test pool is degraded because one of the disks appears to have gone missing. How could that have possibly happened? It's a mystery we'll never solve. Anyway, we're going to want to go ahead and navigate to the pool status page, and we can do that in one of two ways. On the top right of this little test pool widget here, we could go ahead and press the gear icon, which would bring us straight to the pool status page. Or on the left hand side, we can select storage, pools, and then under the test pool that's labeled as degraded, we can hit the gear icon again, and then we get the option for status. That brings us to the pool status page, and we can see here that of the three disks, two of them are still labeled as online and good, and one of them is labeled as removed. That means the VDEV in the RAID Z config is listed as degraded, and that means the overall pool status is listed as degraded. So we're going to want to go ahead and replace this removed disk, and we can do that by clicking the three dots on the right hand side, then we get the option to replace. The pop up dialog that appears gives you a drop down menu with all the available disks that you can replace the faulty disk with. In this case, I've only got one disk, which happens to be a three terabyte one, and it's the one I'm going to select here. You do have the option to force the addition of the disk, which disables any sort of safety check. You probably don't want to do that, so we're going to leave that unchecked. And then we can go ahead and select the replace disk option. And then you can see here TrueNAS is formatting the disk and then inserting it into the VDEV. And it's been successfully entered here. So the next thing that should happen is the pool status is going to resilver. But we can see here that there's so little data on the disk that it's gone ahead, resilvered and completed in the time it took for me to add the disk in the first place. It's not necessary to wait for a disk to fail to be able to replace it. So if you wanted to increase the size of your VDEV, what you would do here is replace each individual disk with a disk of greater capacity. After you replaced the first one, you would wait for the pool to resilver. And then once that was completed, you would move on to the second disk, wait for the pool to resilver again, and so on and so forth. Eventually, when you replace the last disk in the VDEV, the entire capacity of the pool will have grown. That's what should have happened here because I've replaced my last remaining one terabyte disk with a three terabyte one. So we should get an overall increase in the pool size. And in fact, guys, if we hop back to the dashboard page, we can see that the pool status is now online with the three disks and the available space is now 5.27 terabytes, which is approximately correct for a RAID Z VDEV of three three terabyte disks. Once again, I have to stress the importance of waiting for that resilver to finish before you go ahead and replace another disk in the VDEV. Depending on your VDEV topology, replacing more than one disk at a time could cause the entire pool to fail, and therefore you will lose all of the data on the pool. Otherwise, that's it from me, guys. If I can get you guys to do the YouTube dance once more, which is to like, comment, and subscribe, it really helps to push the channel's content out to other users like you who may enjoy it. Otherwise, I will catch you guys on the flip side.